Hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild and today we're going to be going out for some European rabbits because as you guys know by the video that I put out a couple days ago, they recently fixed these guys so I figured it would be a good time to go out and try to get some more of these guys hunted and kind of show their full potential because we really didn't touch on them too much but anyway we got a melanistic one right here I actually did not even know this was here when I first started I saw there was rabbits here I got into a good spot and it looks like we do have a melanistic which aren't very rare but it's still cool to see one so we'll definitely take that guy out but first I wanted to thank you guys we recently just hit 6,000 subscribers which was absolutely incredible we got almost 200 new subs in one live stream it was honestly more than I ever expected and I really can't thank you guys enough I appreciate the support so much and well we've hit our goal for the end of the year already and I really did not expect that so the new goal for end of the year is going to be 7500 subs so let's see if we can hit 7500 subscribers before New Year's we've got over a month and a half so I think it's definitely possible we'll see what we can do but anyway, if you guys are new to the channel, consider subscribing to help us reach that goal. I do post seven videos a week and five live streams a week, so there's plenty of content to watch, and I try to make sure that I'm always getting the best content out for you guys possible. Also, if you guys haven't already, be sure to like the video. It does help with pushing my videos out to more potential new viewers, and that is a huge help in growing the channel, and I really appreciate it. But with all that being said, let's start smoking these rabbits. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to sneak up a little bit closer and take them out with the shotgun because that is a lot better and more efficient than the 22 is. In most cases, for most uh, rabbits and birds, the 22 is actually better, but with these European rabbits, the shotgun is actually amazing because a lot of times once you shoot one or two with the 22, the rest of them scatter and the chances of you hitting any of them as they're running away is pretty slim. So this shotgun really does come in handy. You can actually sneak up really, really close to these rabbits. Even just crouching, you're able to get pretty close. So definitely going to be a situation where the shotgun actually shines. So I'm really happy to be able to use that more. As you see, we got a warning thump right there though. So we do need to be... A little bit quieter but we're almost close enough to where we can use the shotgun on them and in fact let's just go ahead and smoke those little guys got a third one and I think that's gonna be it unless we have a late one run out which definitely happens sometimes especially if they've been out for a little bit but it looks like oh yeah we can do it right there and I missed it well, I chose a terrible time to reload, but it is what it is. We got the one that matters along with a couple bonus ones. So let's go ahead and pick these little guys up. There is our melanistic 1.90 with 197 kgs. This is actually a pretty big mela. Definitely happy to get that. As I was saying though, they're really not as rare as I had hoped they would be. I find one of these pretty much every little session that I do. So they're definitely not super uncommon and I'd love it if they were a little more rare, but I mean, it is what it is. At least it gives us something extra to kind of uh, target. We can potentially get a diamond melanistic one of these days since they are a little easier to find. So that is something awesome to look forward to. Here is the other two rabbits. Nothing special about these, although that is a fantastic pose to die in. Actually gonna screenshot that because you don't really see that too often. <laughs> but anyway, let's move to another burrow actually. Now that I think of it, let's kind of show their mechanics out a little bit. We'll move away from the burrows and then come back because they do actually come out once you uh, have given them a little bit of time. Sometimes all it takes is running away and they'll pop back out of their burrows. Other times you gotta wait a few minutes. It seems to be somewhat random, which is actually kind of nice. The only downside to these little guys sometimes though is the fact that it does take them a little while to come out a lot of the times. I've noticed that with multiplayer they pop out quicker. It could just be something to do with uh, the latency in multiplayer and maybe the rabbits just not knowing when they're supposed to really come out because of the ping differences. But in single player at least, it does seem to take about five minutes to get them to pop back out. So I really think the most effective way to hunt rabbits on Hirschfeld and with the European rabbits is going to be to go to a zone, kill a few rabbits, move to the next zone, kill a few there just like you would with any other species when you're trying to grind them. So that's probably going to be the way to get the most of them down in the quickest amount of time. Uh, for those of you that haven't already seen it, I do have a guide out for the European rabbit that shows 20 different burrow locations that should help you guys get your diamonds and rares. 
I've been using those locations for pretty much all of my rabbit hunting and it's yielded some pretty awesome trophies. We've got quite a few rares and actually quite a few diamonds too, so it's been pretty good. And hopefully today we can get ourselves another diamond one. We already got that melanistic, which I'm still really surprised that it was actually there. I could have swore I spotted every rabbit before I started and never saw that little guy, so it was a nice little surprise, honestly. Alright, so that little rabbit's attentive. I guess we're going to try and get a little bit closer, but the wind is not in our favor today, unfortunately. We might have to just use the 22 here. But I'm going to try to maybe loop around to the right a little bit so we can get out of the wind. And then we'll try to get a little bit closer to these little guys. We do have a male one right there, so that's at least one that we want to try and take down. However, that wind is trying its hardest to <laughs> turn towards us, which is not exactly what I'd hoped for. But we're close enough now that I think we can probably take the shot. We just need to find that little one again. And ooh, that's actually a better one. So, I guess we'll take that one. Might have even got two. I think we might have even got two. Hard to say, though. Hear another. I know for a fact I heard another. I don't know where, though. Um. Well. That's unfortunate. I think we only got one, maybe two. And yeah, we only got one. Uh, well, let's see. It's a 210 gold. Though not too bad. Decent little rabbit. Not nearly as many as we had hoped to get in that shot, but it is what it is. We'll move on to another spot and see if we can get something else. All right, so we're really, really close to some of these rabbits. They're actually just over this rock. We're going to jump up here and hope it doesn't spook them. It worked for me last time when I did this uh, on live stream, so we'll see. Okay, I think we made it. I think we made it up here without spooking them off, but it's hard to say. We'll, have, we'll actually have to get over top and look. Oh yeah, we're good. We are good indeed. That's a big one. There's actually a lot of big ones. Okay, so if we can get all three of those, actually all four of those, that would be fantastic. I don't know if we can, but... Okay, we got three. There's definitely a few we missed, but we got three of the good ones at least, and maybe we can even catch one that's still out. Oh, looks like they all got to their burrows. Sometimes you can catch one that's just kind of running around in circles, but... Not this time, unfortunately. They all seem to have got back in their burrows. Well, anyway, let's go ahead and pick these little guys up. This one is a 1.70 light brown male. Not too bad at all. This one right here was another one that was 1 to 2, I believe. Yeah, 1.95. Just a common male. And this last one is actually the one that we were focusing on. This one had a 2 on the estimate, so it should be a decent one. Ooh, 229 kgs and 2.20 on the score so this one was very close to 2.30 most likely definitely the highest scoring rabbit of the day not too bad at all all right so we're at our next burrow location they're actually right behind this grass as you can see right there we're gonna crawl up there with the shotgun and see if maybe we can take out a few from this set of burrows uh this angle's kind of strange to go at but Honestly, there's not really any better angles. I do have a stand over there for when I'm using the 22, but usually I like to kind of crawl up to the set of burrows, take out a few with the shotgun, and then go over to the stand and wait for them to come back out. But since for this video we're kind of just going through all the burrows, doing a quick run to get a few down from each one, we're not really going to be using the stand, but we're definitely going to stock up and take a few of these rabbits. Alright, we're getting incredibly close. So far, I've only seen females here, though, which is a little bit sad. I was really hoping we'd have a couple males here to take out, but it is what it is. We will make do with what we have. In fact, we should probably take a shot soon. See if we can get another one. We got two for sure. Ah, oh, I just barely got in the hole so close to getting another one it is what it is though we got at least one down I think two for sure 
unless I completely missed the first one I shot at. Which it's kind of looking like I did. That's very unfortunate. Well, guess we're just going to have to move on. <laughs> oh, we actually do have one out already. I just came over to this stand and we already have one out. So let's pop that down, I guess. There we go. Uh, I originally wasn't even going to go over to this stand, but I remembered that when I was streaming, we kind of just ran over to this stand. I turned around and they were back out and looks like the same thing happened this time, except not all of them came out. It was just one little male, but that's all we needed. Really. I was just hoping to get at least one male from this location and there we have it. We got ourselves a male. So let's go ahead and pick this little guy up and then we will move on to another location. I'm probably going to go to the one that's close to the starting lodge. I have not gone to that spot yet and it's always been a pretty easy one to access. So. We'll try that out and see if we can get close enough to smoke them with the shotgun. You know, I got to thinking, I think the 20 gauge semi-automatic is actually going to be a lot better for this, so we are going to equip that and then I'm also going to unequip the 22 LR and get the 22 pistol. I think this could be a lot of fun to try out, so we'll see what we can do with the shotgun and the 22 pistol. Oh, there they go. We just got to see that little rabbit come out of his burrow. That is awesome. So we got a couple of them there. And there's more popping out over there. Ooh, that's actually a really big one. That's definitely one we want to get down. We got tons of bunnies coming out though. It's another with a two estimate. So we have two of them that are for sure decent rabbits. It's just going to be a matter of how decent are they. Alright, so we are getting really, really close to these rabbits. I need to spot which one is the high estimate one though because I don't know where it went off to. We're going to do that and that right there is our rabbit. That right there is the rabbit we need so let's go ahead and... I think we got... yeah we definitely got the two. And we almost got one of these. I know we almost hit it. It's unfortunate that we missed, but we got the one that mattered. So let's go ahead and pick it up. 2.36 kgs and 2.30 on the rating. That was really, really close. Definitely need to be slightly closer for the 20 gauge shotgun though. We should probably get closer on the next time around. So a little unfortunate that we only hit three pellets, but I mean, it is what it is. We got some more rabbits right here. Originally, I wanted to try and sneak up as close as we possibly could with the 20 gauge and see just how close we can get without spooking them off. But unfortunately, the wind is starting to kind of drift towards them. So I'm not sure if we'll be able to do that. I'm going to still try, but I can't promise that we'll be able to get close enough. But we will see. This rabbit's at about 40 meters now. We're going to try to get to 20. I'm not sure how possible that's going to be, but the wind has started to drift the opposite direction, so it will be a little bit easier than it would have been with the wind shifting towards us, but still not going to be an easy task to get super close, but we'll try our best. All right, we are now within range to where I can actually hear their footsteps. So we got to be really, really close. Got to be super close. So close. Let's go ahead and... We got three. Uh, I'm actually confused what that rabbit was doing. The rest of them ran, but that one for some reason just stood in front of us. Interesting. Well, we got a bunch of them down at least. That went a lot smoother than some of these have gone. 1.90 male on this little guy. Here we have a 1.70 male. There is a little female, and I believe this is the one that we were trying to get. So let's see what this guy is. 2.15 kgs with a 2.10 score. Not too bad. I think that was all of them. Pretty sure we got all those rabbits that we had killed. Yeah, looks like we got them all. Well, I'd say that's a decent place to jump into the trophy lodge. All right, so we are now in the lodge, and I think we're going to put this little rabbit right here. And I actually have a bunch of rabbits from... The live stream that we did today by the time this video comes out it'll be yesterday's stream if you guys haven't watched that stream it was the 6k special one 
We were streaming until we hit 6,000 subs, and we did manage to do that by the end of the stream. So I've got a bunch of them from that particular stream. We'll go ahead and toss them up here, I guess, uh, just as like temporary placeholders until we end up moving them, which will eventually happen. But yeah, those are all the ones from the stream. And this is the little guy that we actually just shot at the beginning of this video. What a nice looking little rabbit. Definitely love the way the melanistics look. Even though they're not super rare, they still look really cool. And I wish they were a little bit harder to find, but unfortunately they're pretty common. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. It was fun to go out and hunt these guys the way they were meant to be hunted. Definitely look forward to killing some more of these little rabbits in the future. Anyway, if you guys are new to the channel, consider hitting that subscribe button. We are trying to get to 7,500 subs before the end of the year. I do post seven videos a week along with five live streams a week. So you guys will not want to miss out on all that awesome content. Also consider leaving a like on the video because it does help push my videos out into YouTube's recommended feed, which is a huge help in growing the channel. But with all that being said, thank you guys for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Peace!